You're here because you're working on a vehicle that failed emission. Your baseline test tells you that HC and CO are both high. Remember, you may find multiple problems when diagnosing any emission failure. So use your baseline readings to measure HC and CO reductions to verify any repairs that you do. In this example, we see that the air-fuel mixture ratio isn't 14.7 to 1. It's indicating a rich mixture. Anytime both HC and C are high, it's the result of a rich air-fuel mixture. There's several causes for a rich mixture. A quick first step is to remove the PCV valve while the engine's running. You're going to check for oil diluted with the fuel. Also, make sure that the engine doesn't burn oil, which will cause high HC and CO readings. Then connect your scan tool and select scan data. And look for long-term fuel trim and compare it to the oxygen sensors. Make sure that the oxygen sensors are good before using them to diagnose any problem. In this example, the oxygen sensors are near full rich indication. The PCM is attempting to reduce fuel delivery. We have a rich condition. We either have too much fuel or not enough air. So if you want to check for not enough air because of air intake restrictions on a speed density system, check for carbon buildup. If you have carbon buildup in the throttle bore, you have carbon throughout the engine. Your decarbonization process must clean the entire engine for air to flow freely. Here we indicate that the fuel system isn't responding correctly the PCM commands. Go to fuel injector and fuel pressure volume testing. In this example, the oxygen sensors are near full rich. The PCM is commanding a rich condition. This indicates that an input, a load sensor, is telling the PCM that extra fuel is required. This isn't normal at warm idle. So go to fuel system scan data testing. A bad catalytic converter can cause an emission failure go to catalytic converter testing. You will now be returned to the test selection menu. Make a selection based on your test results. 